Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again with my first original Pokemon set for Gen 5, which is kind of exciting in my opinion. But as you can see from the picture, this is going to be a video on Yan Mega, and actually a very strange yet awesomely effective anti lead Yan Mega to use in Gen 5 battling. So let's get started. So before we get to the moveset, I'm just going to go over the typing abilities and stats of Yan Mega for those that aren't really familiar with it. So, first off, it has the bug flying typing, which is interesting typing, but gives you a 4 times weakness to rock, which translates to stealth rock in a lot of senses, meaning that if you were to bring this Pokemon in mid-game and your opponent has those entry hazards on the field, you're only going to be able to start off with 50% of your health which is kind of unfortunate, but that is why the Mega prior to, or I guess still now, it can be seen as a lead Pokemon due to the fact that this weakness exists, but also because it has some pretty impressive stats. Now, as for the abilities, the two most commonly used ones, and the only ones that it had last generation anyways, were Speed Boost and Tinted Lens. Speed Boost, you should all know, is an excellent ability because it increases your speed by one stage at the end of every turn, which is excellent because that means that this Pokemon can become incredibly fast and outspeed pretty much everything after a couple of speed boosts, which is great. But also, its second ability, Tinted Lens, is really great because what it does is it makes um, not very effective damage be hit for neutral. In, um, basically, if you use like um, Air Slash or something on a Rock-type Pokemon, normally it'll be seen as not very effective, and yes, that will still come up, but if you have Tinted Lens, it will be as if you just did neutral damage to it, meaning that like you were using Air Slash on like a normal-type Pokemon that wouldn't take any super effective or resisted damage from it. However, it does still apply when your opponent has a four times weakness to the moves so if you're using like a bug type move on heat ran or something because it's steel fire four times resists bug it'll be as if it resisted at one time so it's a pretty cool ability to have and something that yan mega was pretty much known for previously now in the germ world it gets the ability frisk which really isn't that useful so it really didn't give it anything new this generation in terms of abilities However, you still have Speed Boost and Tinted Lens to use. As for the stats though, the thing that made Yen Mega shine was its good special attack and good speed. Um, 116 special attack is great for using special moves, which Yen Mega learns plenty of, and also 95 speed is a great base speed, especially if you're using Speed Boost, because that means that you'll be pretty much outspeeding everything if you have a couple Speed Boosts up and put a bunch of EVs into speed, like I said before. But other than that, it has some pretty good defenses with 86 HP, 86 defense, and 56 special defense. I guess not so much on the special side, but it can take a hit or two without it dying because it's not really the most frail Pokemon ever, which is great. But for the purposes of this video, um, we're going to be putting a Focus Sash on it, so it doesn't matter how many hits it can take anyways. But with that, let's get looking at the moveset that I have for this video, which is quite interesting and can prove to be pretty useful, in, or at least how I've tested it. So, let's take a look. So, first off with this moveset, which is, as I said before, meant to be an anti-lead to Gen 5 leads, or at least ones that I've seen, we're going to give it a modest nature to increase its special attack but lower its physical attack, and then we'll be going with the ability Speed Boost. As for the EVs, we'll put 4 into defense, 252 into special attack to give you your highest special attack possible, and 252 EVs into speed to give you the max speed that you can get with a modest nature. Now as for the item, as I said before, I think we're going to be using a focus sash, just so that you can always survive one hit with at least one HP. As for the moves though, and this is where the creativity comes into play, they are meant to counter weather leads as well as other leads that are pretty common or that I've seen to be pretty common in Gen 4 battling as well that may still be effective in Gen 5. But basically, um, the set centers around the first move, which is Sunny Day. And now, Sunny Day is meant to obviously put up your own weather to counter the weather that your opponent may be trying to put up, which is useful in the case of everything except Ninetales, which obviously has drought, so the sun will be up anyways. But 
As for the other weather setting up Pokemon, such as Politoed, Tyranitar, Hippowdon, and Abomasnow, you have pretty much an answer in this set to all of those Pokemon, which is great. So first, um, if you're up against a Politoed, a Hippowdon, or a Tyranitar, setting up Sunny Day will not only um, preserve your Focus Ash in the case of the Sandstorm setting up Pokemon like Hippowdon and Tyranitar, but also allow you to use Solar Beam, which is your next move um, without any charge up turn. And Solar Beam from a Yanmega will be a two hit KO on the majority of sets that are run on um, Hippowdon and Tyranitar and Politoed, which is great. So basically, that's the weather lead out of the way if they stay in, obviously at the beginning of the battle, and also you pretty much just cancelled their weather out by using Sunny Day, which is great. Um, as for the case of uh, Abomasnow, though, however, you will have to resort to using your last move slot, which is Air Slash, because that is super effective against Abomasnow, and, shouldn't, and should allow you to take it out without much trouble, unless, of course, it is a bulky Abomasnow that also packs Ice Shard, which would be interesting to encounter, I think. But basically, um, Air Slash, I think, will either be a 1 or 2 hit KO on Abomasnow, which is great. But as for the Ninetales, which I also alluded to before, which obviously Sunny Day won't have any effect on, you have Ancient Power to deal with. And now Ancient Power is like a really weird move that doesn't have the greatest base power in the world. However, Yanmega does learn it, and it can be useful because it will 2 hit KO most Ninetales as well. And because of your Focus Sash, you will always be able to take it out unless it's like a specially defensive nine tails with max HP or things like that. So basically this set is meant to counter pretty much all the um, weather inducing leads. Obviously you know there is a way to be beaten because if they know what you're trying to do at least they will automatically just attack you twice and only give you room to set up sunny day and use like one of your other moves once which is unfortunate. But generally, if you're up against something like a Tyranitar and they see that you have a lead Yan Mega, they're going to assume that you're just going to switch out and go with like Stealth Rock or something anyways, to which you will obviously use Sunny Day and then take it out with two Solar Beams. So that's really great. Um, other leads that are pretty common, though, can also be beaten by this set, especially if we're going into previous um, Gen 4 leads that we may encounter. For example, Aerodactyl was very common. Um, Ancient Power is a 2 hit KO on most Aerodactyl. Machamp's very common. Air Slash will KO most Machamp. Um, the only one that I think. Oh, Swampert. Solar Beam obviously will be a 1 hit KO on most Swampert, I believe. And also, the only thing that you're really going to have trouble with would be a lead Metagross, but that would be, you know, a reason to switch out. So, um, basically, the set is really great at co countering what I've been seeing as usual um, Gen 5 leads in Pokemon Online, at least the battles I've done on that, but also pretty good at taking out some older leads as well. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other things that this set can also counter because your Pokemon, your opponent won't really be expecting such a strange lead like this, but it can definitely give you an advantage at the beginning of the battle immediately by either canceling out weather or you know, just using your great attack power to take out your opponent's lead, which is awesome. But that is pretty much it for this set. I hope you guys don't think it's too weird, because I have been using it with pretty good success, so I would recommend giving it a shot at least once or twice if you are skeptical about it, because it may still work for you. I mean, obviously there are things that can beat it, but it's just another useful lead to have in this generation, and can prove to be a great asset to your team and a pain in the butt to your opponent. But that is it for this original set guys, so I hope you like this video and take care and goodbye.